What's up guys, how are you all today? Now this is meant to be uh, the weekend vlog and you're probably tuning in expecting the weekend vlog but I haven't vlogged at all over the weekend so this is not essentially the weekend vlog but I'm going to call it the weekend vlog because I don't know, I can't be bothered to think of another title for it. So yeah, I thought I would uh, touch base with you guys because I know the videos have been a bit sort of uh, bleak lately. I am put, trying to put in a bit more effort, but yeah, it's just been I've just been so so busy uh, on the build up to Christmas. After coming back after the wedding, um, had a million and one things going on, and unfortunately the uh, vlogs have to sort of take a, a back seat on all that. Uh, I'll give you a bit of an update on a couple of things though. The NAS device that I got that I couldn't tell you the name of, I still can't because it still hasn't been announced yet. Um, there's no firmware available for it, so I can't even use it. So I've got eight four terabyte drives sitting in there that I can't even use because there's no firmware yet. Uh, I'm waiting for that to get released and they'll send that over to me as soon as they can. But for now, um, I asked Western Digital to send me out some hard drives for testing with the DS415 Play, another Synology box. And so now I've got disks in there and I've managed to migrate all my data from my um, the one that I've sold, which I've forgotten the model of, is it one, what was it, uh, 1413, is that right, 1513 one, Plus I think it is, um, that I've sold to uh, Mark, who's been so, uh, so generous and allowed me to keep it an extra couple of days uh, before sending it out to him, so a huge thank you uh, to him for that, because that really did help me out, otherwise I would have been in deep shtum. Uh, trying to put all of that data somewhere whilst waiting for this new firmware, but at the same time, very very annoying that I can't uh, use the new box yet, and I'll have to use this little four bay one for for a while, which is actually smaller than the existing one that I've got. Um, another thing is as well, uh, Foscam, the people that make the external video cameras that I used for my Synology surveillance, uh, have wrote to me and asked if I want to review any. So if there's any that you guys would like to see off of the Foscam website, uh, let me know and I'll ask them to send them over to me uh, as part of that and then obviously you'll get to see the ones you kind of want to see. So yeah, that's that. Now also, I showed you that battery pack, didn't I, as well, the other day, and I've, I'm still, I'll have to just turn this round. Uh, you can see it all over there, it's all a right mess, but I've got several things uh, charging f off of it at this moment, and I'm seeing like how long it lasts, and it just goes on and on and on forever. So I'm confident uh, that it's gonna last me the whole week when I go fishing, and if not, I've got the car charger with it, um, and I will just take that with me and plug that into the mains for a night or something if it runs out and recharge it. But um, Maxwell Faustein, who's a uh, who's a long-term viewer, uh, has done some calculations for me. And if you look on the previous vlog to this one, there's a comment in there. In fact, he might be kind enough to paste it in the comments on this one as well. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put it in the video description of this video, what he wrote. And he's done all these calculations that tell me that I can, it will definitely last the whole week and I can charge a ridiculous amount of things off of it, including my MacBook Pro Retina, uh, several times before it will run out. A lot of people thought because it's 60 amp hour and that does convert to uh, 60,000 milliamp hour, that those little battery packs, it's only the equivalent of four of them, but you have to remember it's like 12, 13 volts. So um, when you do the calculation and work out the watt hour, it's like 720 watt hour in comparison to just a few watt hour that you would get uh, with those little battery packs. You know, milliamp hour doesn't necessarily tell you really what they can actually offer up in terms of true power. So yeah, that's that. Um, that trip is all confirmed for the fifth, uh, 25th of April, so I'm very much looking forward to a week uh, out fishing in France with a few of my mates. Uh, my mate uh, Pete, uh, who's actually an OAP, uh, but uh, a good friend of mine uh, went into hospital this weekend and so I went and picked him up and took him up there and dropped him off at St Thomas's. Uh, Jade and I went to see him last night as well up at St Thomas's uh, and we went out and had some uh, food in a restaurant called The Canteen uh, which is a really kind of cool sort of modern uh, uh, restaurant, very very cool indeed. Uh, yeah, really nice to, to see P. We just thought we'd go up and visit him and just sort of make sure he's all right and whatnot. He's having some new uh, arteries threaded through um, because some of his are all blocked up and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been quite chaotic, uh, to say the least. I've been playing around with the Nexus 9, and I'm quite 
disappointed with it really uh, it's going to be the issues that you guys already know about the light bleed on it is ridiculous the light leaks are, are just insane uh, it's not only on a dark screen that you can see them it's just quite often uh, and it's just horrible so I'm going to have to send that back and try and get a better one um, and the buttons on the side again a kind of known problem are absolutely horrendous when I first got it out of the packaging I was pressing it and pressing it and pressing it and pressing it and it just wasn't turning on and I thought oh the battery's flat so uh, I went over and was just about to charge it, plug it in to charge it, because I thought it would come flat, which it never happens. I pressed it one more time really hard and it turned on. Um, so I instantly realised the, the kind of um, the button problem on the side of the uh, Nexus was an absolute nightmare. Um, I haven't got a Nexus 6 because I think they're overpriced. So I won't be getting one of those unless someone sends me one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it really for a kind of update for you guys. No movement on the Touareg uh, just yet battery dismissal coming up on the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have had an absolutely fantastic weekend and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.